Hey there, YouTube fam. Uh, welcome to my channel. Today, uh, I'm going to delve into a topic that's been buzzing around uh, the YouTube community for a while, fake engagement. Now, I made this video to, to better learn or better understand this um, and hopefully help any new creators coming onto the platform as well. Um, so towards the end of this video, I will pose a couple of questions or a few questions uh, where I I want to, I guess, confirm my own answers or to make sure that I'm on the right pages to, as the community is as well. So, so bear with me. Let's get started and talk about what fake engagement is, you know, some of the downsides to it and the consequences as well of using this practice. So you might have heard that creators are resorting to these um, unethical practices to boost their numbers. But have you ever wondered why it's actually bad for your YouTube channel? Well, let's have a look and see. Uh, let's let's have a look at this now. So, what is fake engagement? Fake engagement refers to the artificially inflating your YouTube um, video likes, comments, and views. It's a shortcut that seems very appealing at start, but comes with a whole lot of downside. So, let's look at why you should steer clear of this harmful practice. Uh, deceptive and misleading. Fake engagement creates a false sense of popularity and authenticity. Uh, when, you, when you see a video with hundreds of thousands of likes and comments, it's easy to assume that it's genuinely engaging and worth your time. But these engagement numbers are often inflated artificially, tricking viewers uh, to be, into believing something that may not be true. It under, it's under, undermines the trust between the creators and the audience and also compromising the integrity of the YouTube platform itself. Damage uh, to brand reputation. You know, your brand is everything on YouTube and, and engaging in fake uh, engagement uh, uh, can have disastrous consequences. And, and also know that YouTube, the YouTube community are very, uh, very smart and very, can very quickly spot the inconsistency between the inflated matrix and genuine audience interaction. So once the audience discovers that you're resorted to such practices, it erodes the trust they placed in you. So building a loyal subscriber base takes time and effort, but as you know, but it can all be lost within a single act of that fake engagement. So be careful. Like I said, the YouTube community are very smart and they will quickly spot this. Violation of YouTube policies. Um, YouTube does have its own policy on this. I will place a link in the description box for you to check it out. Um, you know, if you if this continues, if, if YouTube picks up on this, they will remove the video, or worse, they will um, terminate your uh, channel permanently. So you know, be very aware of this. De uh, decreasing, uh, decrease organic reach. One of the main goals of many creators is to have their videos in a content seen by many people as possible. However, fake engagement hinders the organic reach. Um, your, the YouTube algorithm heavily relies on genuine user uh, engagement to determine which videos to promote and, suggested, and, and to suggest to viewers as well. So when your engagement numbers are artificially inflated, it creates a skewed uh, perception of audience interest. And as a result, your videos may receive reduced visibility in search results, recommendation, and overall reach. So the best way, you know, for the best thing for your videos is to get that organic reach. Um, I always try to do that as well, and I hope I'm succeeding in it. Diminish, uh, diminished audience engagement. Authentic engagement is a you know, lifeblood of a successful YouTube channel. It fosters a sense of community, encourages meaningful discussions, and allows creators to connect with their audience on a deeper level. When you, re when you rely on fake engagement, you rob yourself of valuable feedback, insights, and the opportunity to build genuine relationship with your viewers. I, for one, love when people, um, you know, I encourage people to um, comment on my videos. I, I, I'm looking, I look forward to, you know, feedback, you know, any suggestions. Um, and I will always do my best to reply back. You know, if you're gonna take the time to comment on my video, I'm gonna take the time to reply back to you. 
So, you know, uh, this hinders the growth potential and, you know, it, it takes away that, that connection with your audience if you try to use fake engagement. So like I said now, um, you know, please, fake, en fake engagement uh, seems tempting, but, you know, the risks and negative consequences far outweigh any short-term benefits. So be very careful. You know, the ultimate consequences, you will be banned from uh, YouTube. So before I end, I've got my three, uh, my questions, uh, about three questions here. I just want to find out if I'm on the same page or if, if I'm, if I'm, you know, if I've got this all wrong, please, like I said, comment below. Please be kind. I am trying to learn from this as well. So my first question is, if I ask my family and friends to, um, to comment, view, and watch my videos, am I, in, am I, is that fake engagement? Is that considered fake engagement? If I use, um, you know, AdSense or to promote my uh, videos on other platforms, you know, paid, paid uh, advertising on other platforms, and bringing in, um, bringing in um, viewers from those adverts, am I creating a fake engagement? <clears throat> Using uh, YouTube's promotion um, uh, feature as well, am I creating fake engagement? I know that uh, the, um, the views from promotions are not counted towards your partner program. Um, that has been confirmed by YouTube, uh, confirmed YouTube for me. And then the other question, does YouTube check this when they come to review your channel when it's ready for the, to, to be included in the partner program? Is that something they do check? There we go, guys. I hope you got something out of this video. I'm looking forward to your comments. Like I said, please be kind. I'm learning this new for me as well, and I'm hoping that it'll help others as well. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more videos. If you like this video, please hit the like button as well. And thanks for watching.